and welcome back masters and princesses. I hope you are doing well on this bandmade Sunday. I'm excited because today we're going to be jumping into some more older bandmade. From what the description says in the video, it says it's from six years ago, which is, I don't think that's too long ago, but we're going to be listening to the song Start Over. So before we jump into this, of course, if you enjoy the channel and you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you want to check out more, there's some links down in the description below for my Discord where you can hang out with me and a bunch of other people. And there's also a link to my Patreon where I do extra reactions to other content as well as some free content that just naturally gets blocked on YouTube. So I'm excited. Let's jump right in. <laughs> also, just because he's in here, <laughs> because he's never in here. If you're a fan of cats, this is my cat, Jason, J-A-C-E-N. He's named after Jason Solo. <laughs> so there you go. He just decided to be in here today. He wanted to listen to some band made. Let's go. <laughs> I remember this. Hold on. So, this is interesting. This is not your typical bandmaid. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I dig it. I wouldn't say it's a giant leap out of their genre, but it's a stark difference between what they normally play and what I'm hearing here. Again, I've said this probably a million times before, but one of my favorite things is whenever my favorite artists step out of their comfort zone and do something that's not necessarily what I would think they would do or what the world would think they would do. And it's not a bad thing. And it's cool that a group like this can make something sound so right? I know that sounds weird because like, if you think about it, we're listening to like pop rock right now. If we were to strip this from like the name bandmade, right? This is now entered the pop rock genre, but I, I like it because I'm getting real instrumentation. I'm not saying that all pop music doesn't use real instruments, but a lot of it is like either you know, they use Pro Tools or something like that to create a lot of their electronic sounds. And in this case, we have live musicians who can execute it the way I would want it to be executed. I That's just a personal thing. That's a me thing. It doesn't mean everyone has to agree, right? But I do enjoy hearing pop music being played the way I wanted it to be. Like, I, hear me out. First of all, we get this cool intro, which I was like, I remember this from the Konami documentary. So I was wondering, so this is crazy. Check it out. I love this uh, oc in octaves. I love that intro. And I'm sorry, I love this. But up. And then Misa with the bass intro. Listen to the guitar part. I love that it slightly lines up with Akane's drum part. 
And you can still hear the piano in the background. And Misa. Even though the context seems dark, it's very light. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, no, I ain't mad. I ain't mad about this at all. Like, to me, this is girly pop. Like, this is something I would listen to. If you've seen my other reaction to, like, Nene music. I loved Britney Spears when I was a kid, and I remember when, like, I know this sounds silly because it was an awful movie now that I look back on it as an adult, but, like, I remember being so stoked when, like, Josie and the Pussycats came out, like, the movie. That is the girly pop kind of rock band that was in my mind. And then there's this. If all the instrumentalists on the planet to do something like this, Band Made is a good choice. That they're, They've proven several times that they can breach genre, right? So, like, they can handle jazz, they can handle pop, they can handle metal, they can handle hard rock, they can ha they could probably handle it at all. So why not? Just let them. And this is proof that they can do that, too. And they can do it well, okay? We're getting these fat bass interjections from Misa in this second verse. And I'm sorry, you you don't get stuff like that very often in pop music you get like an occasional like vocalization like we always hear the yeah ooh, stuff like that <laughs> but instead like we get our great vocalist we get psyche and then we get miku doing some backup vocals with her we get that good sound right and then yes Tell me one more time. Okay. Conversations begun. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Do 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 the climb. The climb. Okay. Oh, and the beautiful piano interlude here with Psyche's voice over it. Yeah, I ain't mad. I like this. Okay. 
I, yeah, oh, hold on. Let me <laughs> I was not expecting that last line. <laughs> she straight up said, I don't give a fuck. It was just okay. That's, yes. So, okay. There is something happening here lyric wise. We're going to look those up. Okay. But as I listened further and further on, whatever the reason for writing the song the way they did, honestly, I don't need a reason. It's them. They, they wrote this and it's, they made it sound great and I like it. But personally, okay, Psyche, Miku, and Misa. I honestly think a lot of the production value went into, musical production value, excuse me, went into their parts. And I'm not saying that that was like planned, right? It could have just happened this way. But it's, I think it's absolutely lovely that this whole song, Misa, has so much happening. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because when we went back and listened to that one portion where, like, Misa had a little interjection for everything, right? If we keep going, when we get into this section over here, listen to the bass part. That was cool because it was with Psyche's vocals. And it may be a little simplified right here. But really listen for the bass. Right here. There's a lot of bass movement. And now, Konami. I don't give a fuck, people, again. I know it's hard, like. It's there's a lot of simplified sections, but in that ending, you can hear a lot of movement between the between Misa and Konami. Like there, there's movement there. Now the simplified sections are not a bad thing either, but it's nice because we have Miku and Psyche's vocals occasionally when they're singing with each other, especially in harmony. It just adds color to the sound, right? This would be something kind of fun to listen to just without vocals. I know that this is not their like most heart pounding song, right? But that's okay. It's not a bad thing. Honestly, I feel like this is just bandmate having fun. Composing and doing something just a little different to see. And honestly, it's great. It's good. And they're do they did it well. It's well done. So I'm curious as to what you guys think and what a lot of other people think. I feel like I can kind of guess what the comments are going to be. But anyway, I'm just curious about what you guys think. But first, I just want to look up lyrics just out of curiosity. We will start over fresh. I can't help but love you. Yeah, this is so... The, it's a sad song. But I, what I kind of love about this is that they took a song with lyrics that would typically be in a darker kind of feel. I don't know. This is like a song I would listen to during a breakup. I've been through enough of those to know that that you need music to get you through. And this would be one of those songs. And like, hello? Yes, please. Yes, that is what I need. And you know what? Maybe that's what they wanted to make. I like it. I don't know. <laughs> this is nice. I want to continue the conversation about music. What do you think about this song? What do you think about the step out of the genre? And I'm curious, would you want to see something like this again? Anyway, before you click away from the video, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And if you want to check out more, the links are down in the description for my Discord and as well as my Patreon, where you can check out free content. 
today I'm gonna to be recording the white room version of unleash so that'll be there on patreon today and of course there's other stuff on there with from other groups and some free content i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next video peace out <laughs>